Hiya, welcome to Yoga for Fibromyalgia. My name is Sarah and I'm a yoga teacher living with and healing fibromyalgia. This week's practice is a lovely, quiet, comfy practice where you want to grab loads of cushions, jump into something comfortable and get ready for a little introversion, um, a little bit of time with the self and just you and me, us. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start today in a sitting position. Um, you could sit in a cross-legged shape, you could sit with your legs out in front, you could be sitting on the side of your bed or maybe up um, in a chair. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a cushion so I can sit up even taller. And I'm gonna bring my heels in one after the other it's a variation of a cross-legged shape. And find a lift in the chest, maybe roll the shoulders back. As we settle into this week's theme of introversion, stillness, the theme of winter. And I got my t-shirt, winter is coming. Breathing in and out through the nose. Start to establish that connection with the breath. Check in. How are you today? How's the body? What's going on in the neck? What's going on in the joints of the body? Muscles? How did I sleep? How did I wake? Acknowledge. Hear. Listen. And with the exhale, naturally let go. Great. Let's gently open the eyes. And let's start with the neck. We'll look over to one side. Big inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale through center. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale through center. One more either side. Maybe you want to tilt slightly the ear to the shoulder. Over to the other side. And maybe a slight tilt ear to shoulder. Good, let's roll through the shoulders up really up towards the ears and down. Up really high. And down. Two in the opposite direction. One more. Good. A few natural movements here that feel good. Just wiggle it out in the upper body. Maybe we want to make a W shape with the arms and just twist left to right. Wake up the spine a little bit. Because we are going to do a seated pranayama. So we might need to warm up the spine a little bit so we can find that lift in the chest so we don't start collapsing here. Let's inhale and open up the heart. Pull the shoulders back. Slightly look up. On an exhale, rounding down. Release everything. One more inhale. Open up big. Uh, stretch, exhale, release everything, and inhale back to center. We might just want to take a little care for the wrists because we're going to use our hands in this pranayama. Rotating, maybe giving the wrists a little massage, the hands, fingers. Again, if you're not comfy here in a cross-legged seat, feel free to change your seat 
so that you can sit um, for the next couple of minutes without any discomfort or distraction. Or if you want to go for the cross-legged seat, we might just quickly straighten out the legs, give them a bit of love as well, the ankles and the knees. And then come back to our seat. So, alternate nostril breathing. We're going to go through this nice relaxing uh, pranayama together. Um, I use my left hand because I'm left-handed, but it's completely your choice. So if we're on the left hand, I'm going to close my left nostril with my thumb. Place the two fingers on my forehead and then use my ring finger as the one that closes the other nostril. Let's go for it. So we're going to inhale through the right nostril, closing the left nostril. Inhaling in. We're going to close the nostril with the ring finger, hold the breath at the top. And when we're ready, exhale through the left nostril, release the thumb. Inhaling through the left nostril. Holding at the top and switching, release the ring finger. And keep it going just like that. Try and make the breath silent. Try and breathe so you can't even really notice this chest moving up and down. If the arm gets tired, we can switch hands. Like so. A bit of coordination there. So keep going a few rounds to get settled in. I'll let you find some stillness and some quiet now. Start to finish off the round that you're on. And release the hand. Keep the eyes closed or soft. Big inhale through both nostrils and just notice the body. Notice the central nervous system. Our ability to soothe. To soothe the senses, quiet the noise. If the knees are firing up, we can release the legs and move position, change position. A 
otherwise we're gonna go for it again this time let's try and make the exhale double in length than the inhale let's just see if we can maybe inhaling for three seconds four seconds exhaling for double six to eight seconds on the inhale Distractions will come, sounds, thoughts, allow them and then come back to the breath. last few cycles now make the most of the long deep exhale switching arms whenever you need slight lift in the chest drop the shoulders Moving the hand down, keeping the eyes closed or gently soft. Notice the body. Notice the heart space. Let's rub the palms together, generate a little heat and warmth and love. Place them over the eyes, massage the face and slowly open the eyes. It's gently coming back to our practice. Okay, so you might want to straighten out the legs long and come off the cushion. And gently send some love to the knees. any natural organic movements maybe rolling through the ankles excellent we're going to come back on our little seat stretch the left leg out long and bring the right foot towards the inner of the left leg I'm going to gently turn my heart space to face the left leg and I'm just going to creep forward like so. I may want to roll a blanket under the left knee if my legs are tight and make it more comfortable. And I may just rest my head down and let my hair fall and find comfort, a little love cave. Give
using the breath to soften and relax the body. Feeling the skin of the back and the hips stretch with every inhale. On inhale, gently coming back up, walk the hands to the hips. Slowly roll the head all the way up and roll the shoulders. Keep the legs where they are. Bring the left hand all the way to the right uh, knee. Inhale, straighten up through the chest and allow a really gentle twist. On your next inhale, coming all the way back through. Exhale, bringing the leg back in front. Inhale here in center. Exhale, start to walk the hands forward. We might stay here on the hands or we might come down onto the elbows. Wherever we are, we take this opportunity to find stillness and peace. Maybe we want to use a block and place that under the head. On the next inhale, starting to come back onto the hands, chin to chest and all the way back up, roll the shoulders and stretch out the right leg this time. You might not want to sit up on your cushion or prop, it's your choice, you might want to use it instead for the knee, I think I will actually. Moving our chest now towards the right leg, starting to fall into our love cave. Inhaling, walking the hands nice and slowly back through center. And bringing the right hand to the left knee. Sitting up nice and tall. And twisting.
Next inhale, let's come back to center. Exhale, bring the right leg in, this time in front of the left. And let's find our fold again, coming onto the hands. Or maybe the elbows in time. Long exhales. Inhaling, chin to chest, start to come onto the hands. All the way back, lift the head, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Maybe exhale through the mouth. Fabulous. Let's give the legs some love, maybe straightening them out overhead. Um, overhead, you know what I mean. <laughs> Any natural organic movements. Now I'm going to give you a choice between two poses, whichever one calls to you more now. Um, the first choice is forward folding here, maybe propping the knees relaxing here relaxing the weight of the head maybe using some cushions to find extra comfort extra peace here option two if the knees are okay with that we're gonna twist um, not twist swivel the legs round and bring the knees and feet together and then we're gonna come all the way down forehead to the floor and swim the arms around and back. So whichever pose you're in that feels like you can get the most stillness and the most comfort, you choose that pose. You can now um, use a cushion under the forehead, maybe even a little essential oil. Wherever you are, begin to inhale, lifting the head all the way up, roll the shoulders, lift the corners of the mouth, and swivel the legs around, and come into the final pose, Shavasana. You might like to prop the head and prop the legs with cushions. Make yourself very comfortable. Take your time getting there. Maybe this is a yoga break for you in your day, or maybe 
you're winding down for sleep. So whatever it is, know that it's okay to rest. It's okay to recover. And we're not doing nothing. We're doing the work, the inner work. Maybe you want to grab a blanket and get nice and cozy under the blanket. Allow yourself to be here and stay as long as you want. If you'd like a little bit more of a guide, you could check our yoga nidra practice. It's done in Shavasana pose and it's a nice uh, tension release meditation so you can go and check that out thank you so much for practicing with me today please let me know down below how this was for you and how you're transitioning maybe into winter or wherever you are uh, let me know how you are take care and namaste